Hello viewers, welcome in my storeroom with two of my wax systems. I have found only a few wax or decorated content on YouTube, um, especially the channel of Digital Diggings, an Australian channel with wax, VMS, deck network and alpha stuff. And also some projects from Victor Bard, Retro Machine, he has a wax 4300, JP Kiwi Geek, he has a micro wax 2, Track Zero with a Micro X 3800 and RMZ The Cave with a VEX Station 3100. I will also mention the channel of Yuzagi Electric with his PDP 11 and some VEX stuff. I will link these channels and videos in the description. So, because of this few content, um, I've got the idea to make some decorated videos with my machines. And I will do that at the beginning in two languages, in German and in a kind of English, something that could be English. So I don't know who is interested, maybe I think 10 people in the world are interested in this topic. So therefore I will use these two languages and I hope both videos are equal or mostly equal. So on the left here, this is a VEX 4200 and on the right, is a VEX server 4300 um, or a VEX 4300. Um, there is maybe a small difference in the ROM, um, but in general they are equal. And on top is a storage expansion with a TSET 30 tape device. This is not connected at the moment and a VT510 terminal. And here we go to here. There is a deck hub 90. Um, this is it's connected to the VEX and to my home network but this is a temporary solution at the moment. I will do some change in the future, but um, here's also a deck server 90L, and maybe we can play around a bit with this thing. So, let's go back to the Rex 4300. So this machine was part of a cluster with two Rex 4300s and two storage expansions, but only this machine is left and maybe I will get a second uh, Vox 4300 or a uh, source expansion. So the data is still on the machine, uh, VMS, on the licenses and also an Oracle 7 database. So let's get closer. Here are four devices in the machine, four disks. The left, the left one is an RF74 with 3.5 gigabyte. This is also an RF 74 with 3.5 gigabyte and RF72 which contains VMS with 1 gigabyte and an RF31 which is a quorum disk for the cluster. And this uh, machine has about 8 whoops, so it's 8 times faster than VEX 11 780 and it contains about 96 megabyte of RAM here, a, th a 64 megabyte module and a 32 megabyte uh, RAM module and um, on the left is the Q-Bus. Um, it's only a SCSI card inserted at the moment. So my initial plan was to investigate this machine and the data on the machine and add another WAX, so the WAX 4200 on the left, to the cluster. But this machine is broken, so I can't do that at the moment. You can turn the machine on but after a few seconds it cuts off and there it is. After you turn it off again, you will hear a click a few seconds later. There it is. But you can't turn it on again. You have to wait several seconds after the click. So after click. And a few seconds later, the machine will turn on again, but only for a few seconds. But this issue isn't always there. I've started the machine several weeks ago, twice, without any issues. But I don't know when the issue shows up and when don't. 
So I did a complete reassembly and the visual inspection of all parts, but I couldn't find the issue. Maybe it's a black plane or the PSU, because the error also appears when nothing else is connected to the back plane. So let's have a look to the machine on the left. This is a VAX 4200 and it contains initially an MFM device, but uh, not in there at the moment and on the left is a DSSI device. This wasn't in the machine. Um, this left DSSI device was original part of the cluster from the right machine. But there is a DSSI issue um, because the machine is not able to find those device. So let's open it. So this is a machine with five whoops, and uh, it has 40 megs of RAM, a 8 megabyte module, 16 megabyte module, and a sec second 16 megabyte module. Then there is a Cubus card, I don't know what it is. I've got this machine from a university, and maybe it's some kind of imaging hardware, but it's got, this looks like a terminal port, and this like a SCSI port, but maybe it's something completely different, I don't know. And um, this is a SCSI card, because I want to install VMS on this device, on a SCSI device, which I will add soon. And the SCSI card original from the right machine is for testing purpose in that machine. And it's also connect via 10 base 2 to my home network. So let's turn it on. So this machine performs the system tests very well, it takes a while. And I've had also add the DSSI plug off camera because um, I haven't got a DSSI plug for the device on this machine, so I will have borrowed one from the big OX on the right. So the tests are completed and are successful. So we can enter show device for the device and we see the DSSI bus so it shows only the controller, not the device, not the disk. And the UQSSP controller is a SCSI controller. Uh, because it's a third party SCSI controller, it's, uh, the system thinks it's a UQSSP controller and not a SCSI controller. But there are no devices connected to this controller at the moment. So you don't see any devices as well. So for the plan is to insert a SCSI disk to this machine and install VMS on it for testing purposes until I've solved the issue on the VEX 4300 and we can add this machine to the cluster from the right machine. And um, moreover I will find the DSSI issue because we have to connect the machines via DSSI to add it to the cluster. Um, it's also possible to make a deep um, dive into the hardware of both machines if you want. Uh, maybe in further videos. So I hope you find this interesting and uh, leave Comments below. Thank you for watching.